Well, a billion prayers waiting to be answered. There are also people praying for the rescue of Air India, but there is no respite. The national carrier, which is running losses of 15 crore rupees every single day, will have to sort out the mess within. That's the stern message from the union government. But for a company which is a textbook case study of lousy management, both time and options are fast running out, as Amit Mukherjee reports. Air India wants to have its cake and eat it too. In these times of global recession, India's badly managed national carrier wants a big ticket bailout. 15,000 crore rupees. 15,000 crores of hard-earned taxpayer money. The problem is so bad, the Prime Minister convened an emergency meeting with the Civil Aviation Minister. Headlines learned that the Prime Minister is not too keen on such a huge bailout. Instead, the government wants to focus on long-term restructuring. Until and unless a series of measures are taken to improve the functioning and the financial viability of the airline, it will be difficult for the government to keep continuing our support unconditionally. Air India is a textbook case of a badly managed company. Consider this. The company's working capital in May 2009 was 16,500 crores. The company's annual turnover is just 15,000 crores. Anywhere in the world, such a company would have gone bankrupt and be forced to declare insolvency. The company's accumulated losses still May amount to 7,200 crore rupees. The way the merger was uh, planned um, and the gaps in which were there between the managing, I think that that is one of the serious um, areas of, of looking into in retrospect uh, of why this has happened. There are two different entities um, merged as one, uh, where uh, you, you, you're still not very sure uh, what I see from outside, that who actually is, is, is on the helm. That's not all. The company is overstaffed by 50%. While airline companies across the world are sacking staff, Air India is fattening its overheads. The market share of the company has fallen by 9% in the domestic market and 5% internationally. As far as Air India is concerned, the government is in no mood to work out a bailout plan. Instead, the government wants the airline to shed as much flab as possible. In fact, the government is not even averse to divesting Air India, sources told headlines today. With camera person Jagmohan, Amit Mukherjee, headlines today.